Sometimes the alarm clock on your phone just won't cut it. I'm going to show you how to make the ultimate alarm clock that uses your lights, your TV, and other electronics in your home to wake you up. And the best part is it's powered by a $35 Raspberry Pi and free software called Home Assistant. Hi, I'm Ron. I'm going to start with an intro. Use the timestamps below to skip to what you're interested in. After the introduction, I'll talk about how to create an interface to set the alarm. Then I'll talk about scripts to organize the actions. Then we'll bring the interface and the scripts together using automations. And I'll end with next steps on how you can take this project further. If you're not familiar with Home Assistant, it's a home automation hub that ties together all your IoT devices. The most basic function is as a universal remote, allowing you to control all your different devices. But where I think it's most powerful is in automating your devices to work without direct user input. I found that deciding what and how to automate is the most challenging part of using Home Assistant, and I hope this video gives you ideas for your own automations. You're going to need two things for this project. The first is a Raspberry Pi running Home Assistant, and the second are devices to control. I'm going to be using a Philips Hue bulb and a smart switch connected to a fan. You'll need Home Assistant installed on your Raspberry Pi. There are great materials out there on how to do that, and I'll link them below. This project may seem intimidating, but it actually won't take you that long. If you have no experience with Raspberry Pis, this can take you a day. If you have experience with Raspberry Pis, you can complete this in about an hour or two. The first step is going to be setting up an interface for the alarm clock within Home Assistant. Now I know I mentioned that the power of Home Assistant is in setting up automations that don't require direct input. But once you set up this trigger, we're going to be using a specific time of day, then you won't have to touch it again. Now let's get into Home Assistant. Here we have a fresh install of Home Assistant with one light and one switch added. To access the Home Assistant configuration file, I set up Samba on my Raspberry Pi, but you can also use WinSCP. And I'm editing in Notepad++. The first thing we're going to do is set up the hour and the minute of the alarm clock to be inputted with sliders. If you run into issues with this code, keep in mind that Home Assistant is very picky about spaces when you're typing things in. So here we created the sliders. There's one slider for the alarm clock hour and the alarm clock minute. The initial time is set at 6.15. The hours go from 0 to 23 in steps of 1 and the minutes go from 0 to 55 in steps of 5. The easiest way to make a simple on and off switch is with an input boolean. I named the input boolean alarm clock status and set the initial state to on. That way, if the Raspberry Pi restarts, the alarm clock defaults to being on. Up next is the most complicated part. Now we need to take the inputs and the current time and format them so they're easy to compare. I'm going to copy and paste, but I'll walk through each line. I'm going to be adding new sensors. So I want to make the existing sensor the start of a bulleted list. First, we add a new time sensor, so we have the current time in a format that is easy to work with. Next, we create a new sensor that formats the hour slider as an integer. That way, we remove the decimal point and the zeros. And we do the same thing for the minute slider. We combine the hour slider and the minute slider into a single alarm clock setting. The syntax here looks complicated, but all it does is add a zero if the minute is one digit. That way, instead of 6 colon 5, it says 6 colon 0 5. Finally, we create a version of the alarm clock setting that always has two digits for the hour. This is needed when comparing it to the actual time as Home Assistant sees it. Now that we have the inputs and sensor created, we'll make it a little more organized. This code groups the alarm clock into a single card in Home Assistant. Let me quickly fix a typo. 
all the underscores and lowercase letters in the entity names won't look that good in the interface. So we use Customize to assign cleaner names and icons to these entities. We add the customizations at the top of the configuration file under Home Assistant. We have to be sure there are two spaces before Customize. That way it is recognized under Home Assistant. Now let's save and restart Home Assistant. Here you can see the alarm clock card where we can adjust the hour and the minute and also whether the alarm clock is on or off. Now we can create a script. This is a list of actions and devices that will be triggered when the alarm clock goes off. Now let's get back to Home Assistant. Here's the script called wake up. The first thing it does is turn on my hue bulb to a brightness of 255, which is the max brightness, and uses a transition of 10 seconds. Next, it turns off my smart switch, which is creating white noise. To tie the interface and the script together, we use automations. These detect a specific trigger, like being a time of day, and then run the script. Here's the automation. I gave it a pretty intuitive name. I made sure it wasn't hidden so that we can troubleshoot. It's triggered when the time equals the time of the alarm clock setting. The condition makes sure it doesn't turn on when the alarm clock status is off. And finally, it runs a script we just made. Now let's save and go back to Home Assistant. Let's set the alarm clock to 5.25 p.m. There are tons of ways to take this further. You can integrate with other devices on Home Assistant. For example, I have it turn on my stereo and play music. For the interface, you can use an app like Tasker for Android to pull information from your phone automatically rather than manually setting the alarm. For the scripts, you can adjust the timing. For example, I have my Hue light gradually turn on five minutes before my alarm clock so I'm not jolted awake by the bright light. For the automation, you can create conditions that prevent the alarm clock from going off on the weekends. There are many other ways to improve. I'm gonna link down below to a thread on the Home Assistant forums that inspired many of my ideas and can inspire you. Thanks for watching this video. I hope it helped you. Look below for links and more information. This was my first YouTube video, so please let me know if you have any constructive feedback. Thanks again for watching.